welcome back to the ranch, Dr. Uptown here. I know some of you guys have been waiting for this for a long time. Uh, what we have here is uh, Jimmy over at Colster Holsters has sent us a new holster. And it is for the Rock Island 2011. That's the uh, 1911 with that full rail that they've got out. Now, one thing uh, I did... Uh, kind of test fit this earlier and it does fit rather tight and so what we're going to do is not only do some minor modifications and just uh, cutting this uh, holster down to, with a combat cut uh, but we're going to go ahead and uh, heat up this kydex just a little bit and uh, reshape it a little bit. One thing we are going to do is we're going to roll these edges on the bottom and the top out a little bit. I do that with all the holsters and it makes for a little bit more ease in holstering. Uh, and I believe that this rail area down here is just a little bit too tight. So what we're going to do is uh, Go ahead and mark this thing off for a combat cut and uh, then get our uh, blow dryer out here and uh, warm this kydex up and see if we can reform it a little bit. We'll uh, take you guys through the steps. Basically on the cut I'm just going to draw on this with a pencil. I'm going to come along here about like so. Just come around the top of it, and I just do this in pencil so that I don't mark my leather up too much. Like I say, this thing fits really, really tight right now. So what I'll do is just extend this line down here, bring it out even with that, and then just come straight across. I'm sure that this. Uh, pencil line that I'm drawing is not showing up very well on the camera but you'll get the idea once we get in there like I say one of the things I'm going to do is go ahead and heat this kydex up and uh, reform this a little bit so we'll go ahead and get our blow dryer set up out here and uh, come back with you alright guys like I say you saw me there running the blow dryer heat this kydex up and just kind of form it into place yeah, see. I already see that's easing up on that a little bit what I don't want to mess up is I don't want to mess up this channel that they've already put in there for the front sight to clear. So I'm going to be a little extra cautious of that. But one of the things I want to go ahead and do, like I say, is just roll this bottom edge out a little bit and then I'll do the same thing with the top to open that mouth up. And like I say, I'm going to save you uh, all the blow dryer noise. and. Uh, just cut the video in between while I'm uh, heating this kydex up. Like I say, it'll, it heats up and becomes very pliable and gives you a minute or two of working time uh, once, it's pli once it's fairly pliable. So, uh, But it takes probably three times longer to heat it up than it does to, for your actual working time that you have. So, okay, I'll go ahead and pause here, and we'll uh, go back to heating it up a little bit. All right, guys. Like I say, we've got a little bit of pliability built into it there. Not much. I'm 
this bottom end we're not going to flare a lot we're just and that's about it now you can see that we've brought that flare up just a bit which is what we're looking for Might try to flare that corner just to shave. All right, we've accomplished what we wanted to on the bottom here. See, we've rolled that edge out just away from the pistol. We've gone ahead and we've managed to maintain our front sight channel in it. So now. We're going to do the same thing on this back edge here. We're just going to flare that out, and that'll allow make kind of a funnel effect when you're reholstering, and it'll make uh, life a lot easier. All right. Like I said, we got that heated up. We're able to flare that out. And it's hot. It's very, very hot. All right. There. Now you can see we've got that good flare all the way around there that I like. Like I say, that aids in the reholstering efforts of it. And what you may or may not have noticed just in this little exercise that we've done so far, see how much easier that pistol's going back in there? Now if I need to heat it up a little bit more for a little better retention or something, once uh, we've got the cut made and everything, I'll go back in here in this trigger guard area and I'll heat that up and push that in. But right now I'm uh, pretty satisfied with it. Jimmy recommends uh, 50 draws to kind of break in the holster. And I would say generally after about two weeks of wearing it, it usually is... Uh, pretty much custom fit to your hip and everything but uh, so combination of the holster drawing like I say I do this flaring on it that's just a personal thing of mine but uh, combination of the 50 draws the flaring and the combat cuts usually uh, make it so that it draws easy enough We'll go ahead and uh, get our uh, heavy duty scissors out and uh, make some cuts. One thing I do need to do is uh, double check this on my waist to make sure I got my cant right. I like it canted just a shade bit, so we'll see how that is and uh, then we'll uh, get back with you on the cut. Alright guys, we've got our heavy duty scissors out here. Uh, see about making her cut. along this we're just going to kind of roughly follow our pencil mark one thing I would uh, I don't recommend to Jimmy I know he's moved this stamp of his three or four times in the leather I think Jimmy if you put it on the back that'd be a big deal just put it in the center in the back because I always end up when I do the combat cut I always end up cutting the thing off and just seems kind of a shame to do so so that'll be my recommendation to Jimmy at Colster if he could I don't know if he does that stamping or whoever he gets the leather from does it or whatever but my recommendation would be to move that stamping to the back side
that way it would be out of the way and the holsters would retain that trademark label I did check this and the can't seemed okay so I'm going to go with that slipper holster in here one thing I will do is I'm going to come down and cut that just a little bit deeper probably with a little bit of a razor knife for that mag release because I don't want that uh, mag release to come in contact with the leather itself and uh, accidentally discharge that magazine uh, let me see if I got a exacto knife or something around this mess someplace and I can do that little trim yeah I didn't find an exacto knife but I did find a razor blade just to shave it along there and that's guys where we're clearing that mag release good all the rest of it looks good I think we'll just leave it about like that trim off a little bit on the edges here don't definitely won't need it to go any deeper so it fits in my pants just about right so we'll just cut down along that clean that up just a reminder to you guys if you decide to go with Jimmy <clears throat> you can go ahead and make all these modifications to it you want he continues to cover you under warranty even if you have modified it something goes wrong he'll just send you a new one alright I believe we've got her set up the way we want to for now now it'll be just up to me to wear it around the house for a couple weeks until uh, that thing gets kind of molded to my hip and uh, we'll be ready to do whatever we're going to do with it <clears throat> but I know you guys have been uh, looking and anticipating finding a, a holster that will work with that rail and uh, Jimmy over at Colster Holsters got it for us so give him a call hope you guys find this interesting we'll talk to you later you have a good day